Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. Today's lesson, I'm going to be taking you through how to use sixths. Um, you've heard them in so many songs from, from uh, Sam and Dave, Soul Man. Uh, Stormy Monday. Uh, Wild Horses. So many different recordings, uh, country, blues, rock, uh, you hear these things time and time again. Now six are a great way to embellish your rhythm, your rhythmic guitar playing. So maybe instead of playing an E chord, you might want to do something like this. Or if you're taking a guitar solo, you might want to use it in the midst of a solo to imply a chord. Now a couple of things that I'm going to talk, everything that I talk about in this lesson, I'm going to have a PDF. And the PDF is going to have all the examples that I discuss. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to break down how to use uh, the six over an E chord, the one chord, the four chord, the A, and the five chord. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use them. And then uh, in addition to that, I'm going to go through the harmonized major scale, how to use them in the context of the song, and how to match each of these up with a corresponding chord that would be in a tune. So if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe. The link for the PDF is below. Everything is going to be on the PDF. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to talk about is what is a sixth and how do you play a sixth? Well, if I was to play an E chord and I was to play the G string and then the high E string, that would be a sixth. It would be a six because if I was to play the E major scale and I started from the G string, there would be six notes uh, from the low point to the high point. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm playing here the G sharp, which is my major third, and the high E, which is my tonic or my root note. So if I was playing an E chord, if I was playing a tune that had an E chord in it, I could do that. Now the way I'm playing it is I'm playing the G string with the pick and I'm playing the high E string with my uh, with my middle finger. So you can play them independently the notes or you can play them simultaneously. Now let's talk a little bit about um, getting started. One of the most common things that you hear on a lot of different recordings uh, and a lot of people to play live is instead of maybe playing an E chord, you might hear something like this. Now, check it out. Now, in the harmonized major scale, this would be an E, this would be an F sharp minor, my two chord, my three chord would be G sharp minor, okay? But if I looked here and I played an E chord here, you'll see that um, I'm playing the fifth, which is the B, and the G sharp, which is the major third of an E. So it's another way of suggesting an E, you just don't have the root in it here. So there's my E chord, and there's a sixth that's playing the fifth and the major third. I come back, and this is like a transitional uh, sixth to get me to the E. totally work. Now say I decided to go to an A chord. Same exact thing over the A chord. I'm basically playing, here's my A chord, here's my triad, right? Here's my major third. Here's my tonic. If I was to play my B minor, which would be my two chord. C sharp minor would be my three chord. But if I looked a little closer and I set up this chord instead, that would be my A chord again. And once again, there's my fifth and my third. So the same concept. Then if I went back to the E. So maybe if I was playing a song, I was strumming the chords. Now instead of going to uh, an A chord, I'm going to play this six. Now I'm going to go to the A chord. Back to the E. Now, a 
four, five progression, and E would be E, A, and B. So to play the sixth over over B, you would have the exact same relationship. There's my third transitional chord. And there's my B again. So I would highly recommend maybe starting with a 12 bar blues in E, kind of staying on the E for four bars. And over the A. there to get me to the back to the A back to the E now these thirds are also known as dyads dyad means two notes at the same time whereas when you're playing a chord it's a triad because you're playing three notes this is a dyad two notes so once again if you were to target a chord say a major chord there's my major my two chord my fifth and my third now let's talk a little bit about minor chords. This is, this is super, super cool. The same rule applies. Say I was playing an F sharp minor chord. Here is my third, my minor third, and there is my um, fifth right there. So essentially, there's my minor third. Now, if I, was to, if I was to move up to the next minor third, it would sound something like this. Now, this looks a lot like the A, right? But if I put this finger here, this is an F sharp minor. Okay, so now the F sharp minor, or just like a D minor triad, if I was to move up to here, this would be an F sharp minor. Now, this is the minor third, um, and this is the fifth of, of, the, uh, of the minor. So if I'm playing, a, uh, or no, that's the... Uh, uh, the A, the A would be the minor third, and the C sharp would be the fifth. I had that reversed. So I could use this for an F sharp minor, and I could use this for an F sharp minor. Now, here is the, here is my, um, sorry about that, that was my dog. Um, that being said, here's my F sharp minor. This is the sixth chord. And then if I went to the seventh chord, that would be my diminished chord. Then I'm back to the... Uh, back to the one chord, which would be my A if I was playing in, in the key of A. So, uh, so this transitionary six would be a diminished chord, and then here I'm going to be looking at this as as being my my target for my minor, and that'll work for any minor chord. Say I played an A minor. There's my A minor chord. So that's using the six uh, in a minor context, but as you can see, they look exactly the same as the majors. So one of the most important things here is really understanding um, how it all works, uh, because that way you can, if you're playing a tune, so now let's talk about the harmonized major scale. Let's talk about the harmonized major scale in the key of E. For those of you that don't know what the harmonized major scale is, it's basically just the chords that are in the key of E, and if I was to play them in order, it would sound like this. My one chord would be E, two chord would be F sharp minor, three chord G sharp minor, four chord A, five chord B, six chord C sharp minor, seven chord would be D sharp diminished, and then I'm back to where we started, at E. Now, if I did the same thing, but I used six, it would sound almost the same, because I'm playing the one and the three, so. There's my E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, my A, my B, my C sharp minor, my D sharp diminished, and back to where we started at my E. So say I was playing a tune in the key of E, and then I went to C sharp minor, back to E. Back to the E. 
maybe I'll go back to the B. So once again, let's take a quick look at everything we discussed. We basically have we basically have an E chord, an E6, an F sharp minor chord, F sharp minor 6, G sharp minor chord, G sharp minor 6, A chord, A major 6, B chord, B major 6, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, C sharp minor chord, there's my minor 6, my uh, diminished, and then this would be my uh, minor 6, and then back to my major 6. So major 6, minor 6, minor 6, major 6, major 6, minor 6, minor 6, and back to major 6. So I highly recommend when you look at the PDF, you go through each string set. So I pretty much stayed on the G and the B. Now if I went really quickly through the other ones, the other string sets would look like this. If I did um, the D string, and the B string, it would sound like this. Following the same chords. If I did it from the next set of strings, it would look like this. Or here. So, uh, so if I did that the other way, it would kind of look like this, because that would be higher. So if I went down, next set of strings starting from my E. Here's my E. Here's my F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, C sharp diminished, and then back to where we started at our E. So once you get those down, it's really fun to combine them. You know, you can go from this So I hope all that made sense. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with these things. They're really, really fun. So that was more of in a, a rhythmic context. Now, if you were soloing, you could do all the same stuff. So if I was soloing over, over an A minor, and I went to a, want to take a solo. You can use it to, to spice up any of your, your, your leads. Uh, use it the same way you would use the single note lines, but just instead of using one note, you're using the six. I'll be here over C. If you like me seeing this video, please subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great day.